Latinos Out Loud podcast. Wow. Yo, 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 LA, yo. <laughs> yo, I am yoing out here from Los Angeles. Yoing and flowing. This is how we going. I am so happy to be here. It's your girl, Rachel La Loca, in case you don't know where you are. This is the Latinos Out Loud podcast. LOL, if you like acronyms like me. I am so excited to be out west, west side. Yo, it feels so good. I haven't been out here since last Dominican Independence Day, which was February of this year. And shout out to me too for opening up the doors for yours truly again. So out here doing some shows. Yo, it has been non-stop since deplaning. True talk, okay? Last night, shout out to the Podcast Academy, TPA, not Tampa International Airport, although I do frequent that spot too. Um, I told you, I like acronyms and I know the airport codes. Um, but no, shout out to TPA, the Podcast Academy. I'm a proud member and judge for the Ambie Awards. Last night, the Ambies were held at the JW Marriott at LA Live. And was it live, you ask? Yes, it was. Yes, indeedy, she wrote graffiti. It was so much fun. And then and you know what was even more fun? The after party. <laughs> I haven't been to an after party in so long, you guys. Like, okay, I'm old, er, not old, okay? Just old, er. Um, you know, mom of two, she doesn't go to very many after parties. After parties usually consist of like, you know, late night finding Nemo or like, you know, some kind of kid stuff just to put them to sleep. And I've been doing a lot of ASMR lately with them and that's working. The sound bowls, YouTube, sound bowls for kids. Um, that's the mommy advice. Anyway, um, it's been really real out here. The after party was at Sinners y Santos, which is also around LA Live. And boy, the networking. Oof, the networking. Shout out to everybody who I saw last night. Mara, the super producer, Eric, Galindo, Megan, my friends. Check out their podcast, Idolo, the Ballad of Chalino Sanchez, and also Wild and Wild Season 2. You know what's wild? Their love story. I'll leave it at that. You should go check that out. Yeah, and I'm here just rocking and rolling. We have a lot of guests that we're going to have come through these doors today, and I am so so honored and privileged to introduce my first, a former New Yorker, but I think New York is still in his sangre. He is an actor and he is a friend and he's from the Heights. Big shout out to all the Dominicans out there, Dominican, Dominican, Dominican. Please put your hands together for Nelson Estevez. Que lo que, mi gente. Que lo no, que, que lo mío. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Yo. It is so good to see you. Great to be here and great to see you as it's well. It's been a while. It's been a like you said, a while. A whole while. <laughs> like a whole while. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yo, the growth, you have grown so much as an actor. Thank I've you been, so much. I mean, yeah. I've been tracking your success from afar yeah. and also they're clapping for you. Thank you may you. not hear Thank it because you. you're like out on the West Coast and whatnot now, but like clapping for you, cheering you on. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Yeah, sometimes you just get lost in the sauce and it's been quite the journey and you know sometimes you don't look back and reflect to see how far and what strives what how you strip how 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 you have taken strides forward so yeah it's great to hear that, i thought uh, i heard you say how you strip and i'm like is that what you're doing nowadays i mean i thought about it back that. in the days so i'm like right, you gotta do what you gotta do but listen no, I, I have <laughs> i have come so close to only fanning so close <laughs> like when money is tight i'm like oh it's like right there and i have good feet oh should i do it i don't know if one of the teachers or like the kids I mean, teachers sees it i don't know and now i'm a college professor so i don't know <laughs> uh, but yeah i mean yeah it comes with consequences but i am you know do what you got to do <laughs> <laughs> do what you gotta do. Speaking of doing what you gotta do, can I just shout out the Oval right now? Yes, Yo, yes, your yes. boy right here, he's on the Oval. <laughs> shout you. out to Tyler Perry, BET. Yes. yes. Talk about the Open Oval and Alonso. Alonso. Alonso is a Secret Service agent in the um, in over at, with with the president. Uh, just always getting into a lot of drama with the president, Hunter. Yeah, uh, just doing his dirty work. He gets caught up in some stuff. I'm not gonna spoil it too much. Uh, because some people are not caught up yet, and I just want to get the DMs and the messages them yelling at me for spoiling it. But uh, Alonso gets caught up, and uh, yeah, there's a there's a scene where um, I don't know if he's gonna come back or he's gonna make it in one scene. But oh um, no! Yeah, but uh, I'm I'm he's still ticking. Let's Wait just a minute. That. Okay, <laughs> like as a TV actor, like talk to me about that because if you die on Listen. the show. <laughs> Unless your character comes back as a ghost, or I'm, I'm sure there's like <laughs> flashback scenes, but like, what does that mean to the actor? Man, I remember reading that script, that episode, and I'm like, wait a minute, he, he, what, what, what happens? 
and that's how it ends. <laughs> it's like, so I remember just looking over to, at the next episode. I'm like, oh, okay. He's barely <laughs> making it, but he's hanging on. Okay, so what happens? So, right. I'm, I'm, and I'm just going to leave it at that. But I just remember there was a moment. But, you know, that's the business as well, too. And it's the story being told. And it was a great arc. And um, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> that's all he can say, Eloeleros. He's yeah. such a good actor. I mean, meaning not that he's acting now, but he's a good actor in this. You know what I mean? Like, he's not spoiling it for us. And he has to, a job that he has to keep. You know right. what I'm saying? What she said. Yeah. <laughs> so you're working for Tyler Perry. Like, yeah. Yeah. let's talk about that. You're working for an icon who, by the way, like, you guys got to, like, think about his backstory. Like, he had these off-Broadway shows yeah, in New York yeah. City. Homeless you know what I'm saying? Too, at, some, at one point, he was homeless. Homeless. Too, yeah. I remember those commercials playing. There was this <clears> one <throat> commercial. It was like, the dark of the berry, the sweet of the juice. And it was, like, <laughs> nonstop at the um, at the theater uptown yeah. on the Upper West Side. I forget the name of the theater right now. but It's all good. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I'm just like, yo, a lot of us started that way. And to watch his story of success, and now he's employing my friends. Shout out to you, Tyler Perry. Shout all right? out to you. Tyler, yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. How is uh, it working for an icon? I mean, it's great. At, at times, uh, I remember first working with him. I, I, at first, it, it, everything was so secret, secretive. I didn't know it was for him until I actually booked the job. Oh. So to fly out there and uh, just find out, see his name on the call sheet, and I'm like, yeah, my first gig was Agrimony. Oh. So seeing his name and Interagi on the call sheet. So it was, Raji yeah, it was wow. great. It was great, and and that man. Um, there were days where, like, on, on days where I did, where I didn't even work, I would just go on set just to watch him work and watch Taraji work. It was just like a, a free class. That's beautiful. I was getting paid to watch them perform and then also do my thing. But it was great to see them on and off camera how they conduct themselves. So tell us about Alonzo. Like, what is he? What what's his deal? And how do you become him? Because Nelson is a really cool dude. Yeah. He's a nice guy in real life. Like, what's up with Alonzo, how do you channel that? It's, how do you become it's him? It's very interesting. I uh, I worked many years at, at a hotel, at the hotel service industry. Where? <laughs> at the Chateau Marmont. Oh, Chateau for real? Chateau Marmont, the, Holly, uh, the Standard in Hollywood, Chelsea Hotel in, on 23rd Street. Oh, my so, God. So, yeah, business, hey, I have a business degree in that. You know, it paid off in that department. But um, okay. we can even talk about that later on. But I love I, this. I just remember certain moments just working security or working as a bellman. Just wanted to cuss, cuss, cuss some people out, mm. but um, I just had to, you know, keep my integrity. Realize how bad, you know, I needed the job at the moment uh, to follow my pursue my dreams and my goals. So I just, you know, at times, you know, I, I would pick and choose my battles. So I think I would trans, I translate that with Alonzo at times. You know, he has to keep his job. None of his backstory is not is not told much within the Oval. I created a back, you know, I created somewhat of a backstory, you know, just doing part of the work of my process, but um, just understanding that Alonzo has a job to attend and he has to keep his job for personal reasons. And I just kept with that. And, you know, there are certain times where Alonzo wants to curse some people out, but, you know, him keeping his job is his priority and, and moving up in the ranks. Wow. Yeah. So, <laughs> wow, how many episodes have you shot thus far? You know, it's funny. Um, I, I checked the IMDb <laughs> recently because just uh, I had some moment just to reflect. OK, I said, I'm on IMDb like at least once a week. I don't know why I am DB obsessed. Um, Sundays because uh, the rankings, you see your ranking go up or down <laughs> That's what, like Sunday night. <laughs> you are 46 percent down in the rankings. Yeah. I'm like, thank you, IMDb. Between that and Chartable telling me the podcasts are like, out of the charts. <laughs> we were on like the chart in Paraguay. Shout out to everybody yeah. in Paraguay. Anyway, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, for sure. So um. Uh, I've done over 65 episodes so far. 65 episodes. Blessing. And, uh, yeah, he was only supposed to be on for one season, uh, Birdie told me. And he, uh, Tyler just enjoyed my work and what I was bringing to the table. And just an honor to be uh, part of such a great cast and crew. That is yeah. so mm -hmm. inspiring. Eloeleros, did you hear that? Like, I say this all the time. You put in the work. You know what I'm saying? Mommy always told me, dress for the job that you want, not the job that you have. Um, and I just think that you show up to work, you show up with your 100% no matter what you do, whether you're an actor, a teacher, a lawyer, a farmer, whatever the heck. Like, people notice, you earn your stripes, you know what I'm saying? And people watch those stripes blossom and, and become thicker and more solid. And then they give you those opportunities. Yeah. I'm so happy to hear this. Yeah. I'm also happy to hear that you're working with my boy, Yo Yo Rick, AKA yes. Ricky Rosario. Ricky Rosario, okay. shout out to Ricky Rosario. He's yeah. got a film coming out, B is for Bachata. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna spoil anything, okay? But a lot of my friends are on this film, mm -hmm. including 
this guy right here. So tell us what you know about Bia for Bachata and who you'll be playing. It's a story about a about a young Dominican American uh, kid. Uh, he attends his uh, family's uh, uh, barbecue cookout, uh, Dominican style with bachata. So he gets a, he finds out a nice learning lesson uh, about the story of bachata. He tries to learn bachata, but um, you know through the process he finds a, a nice family secret. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sounds juicy. It's really, really nice. Sounds like some Dominican tea. No, it's great, and it's very educational, uh, just about the history of, of, of bachata, even with Trujillo, how he, uh, uh, how he banned bachata as well, too. Just a quick, you know, has great some, some great ha ha moments, but then also it's a learning moment as well. Too. I love when yeah. there are projects with purpose. For those out there, LOLeros, who don't know about Trujillo, Trujillo was the dictator that reigned over the Dominican Republic, and he was just a bad dude, bruh. Bad dude, took things away, you know, made houses and families have a picture of him hanging on the wall next to the picture of Jesus. And if his military men came into your house with like an unannounced inspection and did not see Trujillo's picture hanging, you got problems. Mm -hmm. Somebody might get murdered, you know what I'm saying? I know my mother told me a story when she was a little girl, she saw somebody get a, the ultimate beatdown and ultimately killed in her grandmother's backyard over something like that. Yeah. And I mean, something else, a little tidbit of knowledge. I'm fascinated by Dominican history in case you haven't gotten that already. You know, there was this Perejil test because Trujillo Oof. was very racist and did not want yeah. either like, you know, he, he wanted the raza to blanquear la raza. So he let in a bunch of Jews from like Eastern Europe just to blanquear la raza, which is like ridiculous. And there is still a thriving Jewish community in Sosua. But the Perejil test was also because he didn't want Haitianos crossing right. over the border. And he would make anybody who was suspiciously Haitiano say the word Perejil, which you know is parsley in Spanish. Mm -hmm. And Haitians have a hard time saying Perejil, they say Perejil. And so when they yeah. would say Perejil, it mm -hmm. was like off with your head, yeah. Marie Antoinette style. Style, like mm -hmm. crazy mm -hmm. um, so I love that there's some education in there because yeah. you know there's all these textbooks that exist and all these teachers passing down like information but I don't know if the young kids know about everything that their grandmothers and great-grandmothers and great-grandfathers went through yeah. um, I think we got to keep talking about it so Absolutely. the fact shout out to Ricky for bringing that up in his yes. film yes, so yes. that we keep things like history moving Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? yeah yeah so then uh, my character I play a 90s bachatero and I'm just gonna leave it oh at that. <laughs> yeah. my god yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, please tell me you're going to dress the part. Like, please yes. tell me why you're going to Why do you think I have the stash? <laughs> That's why I have the stash right now, yeah. Because we're getting ready to shoot early <laughs> April. <laughs> this is so I, you great. Know, I take it seriously. <laughs> you know, do you see this, people? Like, he's got the handlebars. Are uh -huh. you going to keep growing it out, or that's I, how you have to keep it? He wants some stubs, so I'm going to... I shaved it purposely, so then I can have some stuff for him, and then we'll decide on set I'm whether so he wants real. a stub or, a stub or not. I also... You're doing this hair Yeah, because I usually have it lower in a high fade. I prefer a high fade. I got to tell you, you are giving Raulin Rosendo <laughs> right now. Dominicano, yo soy. And exactly why the bandera yes. is here today, people. Um, Nelson is the only Dominican that I'll be interviewing here while out here in L.A., so I felt the need to pack my bandera with me because I knew I wasn't going to be able to find one in L.A., just saying. Listen, it's yeah. not only hard to find a Dominican flag, but it's hard to find a Dominican out here. So Listen. let's talk about that. Yeah. Behind yeah, the yeah. scenes, we were kicking it about, you know, he's from New York, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Wash Heights represented, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was a little bit of high school beef going on behind the scenes, which yeah. I thought was hilarious. No, for sure. Yo, shout out and your high school real quick. Of course, Cardinals Foman High School. Uh, <laughs> Oh, and then, and also just to correct, because I know some people from Inwood, they're gonna be like, "Yo, you said you're from the Heights. You make oh. sure you're from 207 Inwood, oh. Dykeman, and Inwood. 211, just okay. that whole area of the city." Shout out to Inwood as retract, well. Too, so. Retract, retract. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard this beef as well. <laughs> Inwood versus Wash Heights. As someone yes, from Brooklyn, yes. I kind of like call all of Uptown Wash Heights. So yeah. I'm sorry, yeah. Inwoodians. Yeah. Okay, so you went to Spelman, and yeah, I went to Eddie Spelman behind the school. scenes went yeah. to Mount. What is the full name, Mount? Mount St. Michael's, Mount, Mount St. Michael. Michael's, yeah, so Mount, and Mount Vernon, yeah. Yo, that's so crazy. It's such oh, a small New York oh, world. I, my apologize, my apologies. Mount St. Michael in the Bronx. Oh, Mount St. Michael's Academy. The BX. Yeah. You're just continuing the beef. You just want to beef. I know, I know. I'm, I'm backing them on a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So we were talking about like just moving to LA mm -hmm. from New York. It's like two different mindsets. Yeah. Different time yeah. zones. 
different ways of life. Listen, yeah. I want to tap into like some <laughs> mental health awareness right Absolutely. now. Like, how was yeah. that transition for you, and where are you at today? Are Oof. you still operating as a New Yorker out here? Have you slowed down? Like, how is life as a New you York know, Dominican in Los Angeles? I the <laughs> the initial response was like, yeah, fuck that. I'm a New Yorker at heart. You know, <laughs> I'm still a New Yorker at heart, but it's just about finding the balance. Um, cause at times if you just, if you're just constantly on the go, I, I found myself cause I was constantly on the go. I would, I would wear out, I would tire out and you know, I'll, I'll just be, I, I'm, I'm no good. So, um, I just have to find certain balances and certain outlets. Um, uh, but I still have that New York mentality mindset, especially when, you know, when I'm adamant about something and when I'm emotional, definitely the, the, the New York in me comes out mm. and I have to express some emotions, upset, happy, excited, f-bombs you know like I, yeah it comes out but uh for me it's just finding my certain outlets out here and uh you know this is my second move out here but i've been here since 2011 uh, since my second move so uh just knowing just understanding having a, having a great foundation about myself really helped me to strive out here and move forward you know you mentioned that you spend a lot of time with yourself yeah and that's very different. Like, yeah. <laughs> Inwood, you don't really get that opportunity because yeah. there's music blaring and you're living on top of each yeah. other and there's mad Dominicans everywhere. And now you're here and it's like, you know, I don't know, do you have a culture? Do you have a community? Do you have a, I should say, do you have a sense of culture and community out here like back in New York? Uh, it's interesting. Um, shout out to my, my, my circle here in L.A. They, uh, they hold me down for sure, but uh, it just... In my heart, you know, just where I grew up and, you know, it, I have like my mom and my, my father out there so that they're, you know, they're part of me, part of my heart. So I can't compare, but, you know, they're pretty much really close to my mom and dad. And then my sister just moved out here, too. OK. Yeah. So it's great to be in a position where I can help her with her transition, making it smoother. She's not in the industry, but still, it's, it's, I find it like, you know, and you, you can also vouch for it, but it's a tough transition to move from the East Coast, New York over here to the west coast it's just from people vibing to um you know the time differences like you said it's just it's just different people move a little differently out here and then especially in the industry but i've been blessed to have found a nice a nice handful of people where i can contact and sometimes we don't we, we don't even talk about the industry we just talk about other hobbies we're into family stuff uh, you know boyfriend girlfriend stuff what you know just it, it's great to talk about and have an outlet here as well too but it, it took a while Cause you know, at times like people, you know, and then myself, you know, just trying to find, just finding the confidence in myself. At times I would find myself trying to network or trying to go out just to please, uh, you know, not keeping it real with myself. Yeah. So just all about finding a nice balance. Do you know about this Dominicans in Cali group? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Shout no, out was, to the Dominicans in Cali. Yes, yes. And then uh, I know Franceli's still out here too, Franceli. She's still out here. So every, uh, every year for the Dominican Independence Day, she holds a hike. Uh, here, so to that the was Hollywood great. sign. Yeah, it was. Con banderas y to. I have mm -hmm. yet to do this hike, but mark my words. As soon as this broken toe is healed, <laughs> I'm hiking to the Hollywood sign with y'all next year. Okay. Yeah, stay yeah. hydrated, and it's it's about six miles, so it and it's it's uphill, so it's gonna be a nice workout. It's so momentous. It's great, yeah, and just to see so many people, you know, some a lot of us there, it was it just felt it just felt great. It and felt like a piece of home, you know. Small moon, though, because Franceli's also in B for Bachata. Exactly, yeah. And, Amazing. Um, yeah, yeah. And, oh, my gosh, uh, there's another actor as well, too, that he's there. Um, and Glory Mora, shout yes. out to Glory. He's also going to be in the film. Yeah, and that's how I actually got on the film as well, too, because um, just, just networking and speaking to them, and I got to meet Ricky on that, on that just like that as well, too. Check out that yeah. episode, by the way, where we interviewed Yo-Yo Rick. I mean, that's his Instagram name, so that's what I call him, which yeah. I often do <laughs> to people. Um, but Ricky Rosario's episode, we yeah. taped that around, yeah, here in L.A. in February. Yeah. And he's a, a friend and ally of the show. I'm so excited for you. He's that's so going to be so great. Uh, Super got, talented. Yeah. He also had a film called Abuela's Luck, yeah. which had a nice festival run. Yeah. Um, so shout out to mm -hmm. all these filmmakers that are just doing it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So talk to me about the future, um, acting, but do you have Ooh. anything else up your sleeve or anything yeah. else that you like, to, other, other endeavors? Yeah, you mentioned yeah. something about the stock market. Yeah, yeah, Wait, all right. What? Yeah, no, no, I'm going <laughs> to definitely get to that. Uh, as far as uh, in front of the camera, behind the camera, working on writing as well. I have, uh, I have a single cam, uh, a half hour comedy, uh, more of a dramedy uh, pilot series that uh, me, myself and my, my uh, writing partner, we're, we're working on pitching as well too. 
it's a baseball story. There hasn't been a baseball series in a while, comedy, uh -huh. dramedy. So it'll be nice to have that you know, on a platform in the future. So we're just working on pitching that. In the future, I would like to get more into directing. But Ooh. I just, yeah, I've got some work to do in that aspect. And I always feel like I'm a work in progress, but yeah, definitely would love to get into that aspect as well, too. Aren't we all yeah. works in progress? <laughs> WIP. Yes. Whip. And then, yeah. And then the stock market. Yeah, I just, uh, I've always been interested. I've been a geek at heart with numbers, math, uh, <laughs> trying to learn the stock market. I tried to be a stockbroker in, in Wall Street in New York. That didn't work out for me. No um, way. Yeah, yeah. Are you I, serious? That business was major. So then I tried doing the stock market, try to get my Series 7 license. Uh, it's just, Which I hear is very hard to obtain. It's hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't pass, obviously. And then oh. um, just being around some other brokers, like, they, they party hard. <laughs> I was just like, I can't keep up. I'm and just thinking Wolf of Wall Street, like Lobo it, of Wall Street? Or that's is that pretty how true. You yeah, Lobo, gonna... Lobo Wolf, yeah, they, all, they, they go hard. They yeah. go hard, so I, I, I'm just like, all right. That's so crazy, because when that portion of the news comes on, I, like, totally yeah. tune out. Um, the Dow Industrial, the NASDAQ, the S&P. I'm like, okay, so I don't know what's happening with all these letters, so I'm going to just watch something else. Meanwhile, I'm over there like, yes, okay, cool. I'm going to sell these stocks, these shares over here. I'm going to uh, write a covered call. <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> I have to say, my knowledge of the stock market is probably from trading places, Eddie Murphy. Uh, yeah. That's really all I know. Mortimer, buy, <laughs> buy. Mortimer, sell, sell. That's about it. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that, that came about because um, I, I just didn't want to go back to the hotel jobs, respectfully, you know, I just, I wanted to focus in more on, on my acting and, and, you know, just on, on the arts. So um, I, I, I had to find some supplemental income while I found, found the next gig. And, you know, nothing's forever. The oval's not forever. So I just wanted to brace myself because I am recurring. So like that, I remember that scare that I had when, um, when uh, you know, I was reading about Alonzo and I'm like, oh my God. Oh my so God. then I remember, I'm like, okay, maybe what, what, what if this was, you know, what if Alonso's no more or the Oval's no more? Where's my, what's my next gig and transition? So, Dang, yeah. son. Reading that in a script is almost like hearing about layoffs <laughs> at the job. You know what I'm saying? Like, word. Yo, son, there's no people left and right, bro. You better watch out that pink slip may be coming yeah. your way. You better strategically yeah, plan and back up your hard drive real quick. You know what Listen, I'm saying? Man. Get all them emails real <laughs> quick. <laughs> Yo. Listen, you're like, oh. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Nice work with y'all. You right? know, but you know, it's part of the business. That's how it is. And yeah, it's always trying to find Gosh. the next gig. I, I think about like what the writers in the writers' room must be going through. Like, do we really have to write him off? Or yeah. if you done did something wrong to one of them, I'm like, yes, we do. We have to write him off. That's mm -hmm. another thing mm -hmm. too. Uh, that's why you know, just Powerful. treat everyone uh, with respect. Because sometimes you can get written off as well too. Because you you're just more of a cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Come to the job <laughs> correct, people. Somebody's always watching. Absolutely. They watch it. Don't burn them bridges, yeah. people. You know what I'm saying? Right. And they're watching when you don't think they're watching, too. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I'd like to now segue into some advice, you know, because the Eloeleros are out there seeking advice yeah. and maybe not, you know, actively seeking it, but I do mm -hmm. know that y'all come to this show for inspiration. Mm -hmm. So, like, maybe you can offer some words of advice for those that are looking to break into the industry or maybe for those that are in the industry right now and are like, I got to be out. Like, I'm in, I'm out, good night. Um, because yeah. there's this frustration. I mean, I can't tell you how many no's I get on the daily. No, no, mm -hmm. no. And if I followed all the no's, I'd be in this, like, no land that I would, like, <laughs> hate. You know, because if you go to no land, it's dark, it's dismal, it's disastrous. Um, three Ds. I'm also big on alliteration. Okay, I'm not going to be a grammar <laughs> geek on this episode, but I often am. Um, so, like, you know, talk to us about some advice that you have for those people that are maybe feeling a certain kind of way. Maybe you for guys sure. are out there auditioning and self-taping and not booking anything right now. But, like, give us some words of advice um, based on experience and for your sure. knowledge. Um, if you're getting into the industry, I would say... Um, um, depending what, you know, whichever age range, it happens for a reason. Cause I know for me coming in, I wish I, I came in, I wish I would have started younger. I wish I would have started at this age, but then now I realize if I would have started at that age, my career wouldn't have been as, uh, as, uh, as extensive or as I wouldn't have lasted. I wouldn't have made it that, that mm. long. Cause, um, you know, at, at times, you know, just the money and the financial aspect of it, um, I would have just been spending everything and thinking that there was there was not going to be no end and not understanding the ebbs and flows of it. So uh, just uh, just having a more more of an understanding of yourself, live your life, because then also 
you know, the heartbreaks, the, the ups, the, down, the downs, you can pull from, from those emotions and become a better artist as well too. Uh, so just, uh, you know, everything happens for a particular reason. So whenever, wherever you're starting, that's what's meant to be. And then just keep doing your research and, um, and understand it's a business as well too. Um, I remember this one, um, don't want to ramble too much but uh it's a podcast okay okay we that's the right rambling. okay cool. all i do is ramble <laughs> my problem is the podcast never turns off in my head i'm podcasting 24 okay, cool, 7. Cool, cool. thank you to everyone around me who's accepting this <laughs> ramble because okay, i swear perfect. i feel like sometimes my ramble will lead to a rumble and i'm like nah it's just me talking a lot i don't know go ahead yeah yeah okay so i i just remember it and now i forgot what i was talking about oh <laughs> this ramble about um something a specific instance okay. or maybe a, a no that you got an audition a self-tape yeah I'm oh, trying to bring uh, it back got you thank you uh yeah understanding the business aspect of it and then also i remember there was a there was a workshop or a, um an exercise that someone helped me uh, a questionnaire just understanding what do people see you as and where do you want to be because sometimes I, I i used to be very conflicted because I'm, you know, like you said, I'm very chill, I'm a clown, but at times externally people see me otherwise. So it was great to understand what people see me on the business, like, because I, I would kind of step out and see myself as a product. What, what, what's, what am I giving, you know? <laughs> you know, what am I giving? So it's great to know, but then also understanding where do I want to get to in my career and my trajectory. So just having a game plan for all that. And it helps with your headshots as well, too. So mm. great marketing, yeah. That's yeah, a yeah. good note. That's a really good piece of <laughs> yeah. advice. Yeah. Okay, so this final part of this episode of Latinos Out Loud is brought to you by my sponsor, Get Loud, available at Targets Nationwide right. on Amazon. This is an amazing game. We also had the founder of the game and the head of marketing. Shout out to Carolina Acosta and Arelis. They founded this game, and now it's like everywhere. It's in Targets. It's just so nice to see a Latina-owned business on the shelves of Target. So can we play a round of Get Loud? Absolutely. Okay, <laughs> this is like, okay, you guys know I love games. Like, you uh, know I love games. Like, not like games, like, you know, mind games. Well, I guess this is kind of a mind game, but you know what I mean. Not bad mind games, but fun board games and mind games. So this is Get Loud, and this is the way it works. We have this very technologically advanced timer, the sands and the hourglass, <clears throat> like the days of our lives. Mm -hmm. And then we have these cards. So basically, um, you're going to have to get me to guess this word, either in English or Spanish, any means possible, singing, dancing, jumping, words, you oh, know, whatever, shoot. Morse code, messenger okay. pigeon, however you want to do it. Okay. So we have to get as many as we can in 60 seconds. First you give and then I'll give. Or unless you want me to give first. What, you want to guess or give first? Ooh. Uh, and let don't me, cheat. Let me, you can't look at the first one. Let I mean, me look at the first one for practice, but don't look at the first first. one. Let me give first. Yeah, let me give first. Yeah, no, no. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll switch zone. it up. I got to get in the zone. Okay, how are we? Cerebrum, are we okay? Are we tapped in? Yeah. Medulla oblongata? Yeah, okay, okay, I'm ready. <laughs> Oh my God, I heard the voice. Oh, was that you? That's a minute too. This uh, is 60 reading. seconds. Yeah. 60 seconds on the clock, here we flow. Uh, Silence. What? Next one. <laughs> okay, keep going. Eh, un, un carro eléctrico. Un carro eléctrico. Um, um, el, el dueño del carro eléctrico. Oh, oh, the new ones, right? Not the Prius, the freaking, what's He's it called? He's always on, on Tesla. X. Yeah. Oh, He's always on X. Uh, Elon Musk. Yeah. Okay. I'm not, I can speak, right? Yes, yeah, you okay. can do whatever you want. Comiendo una manzana, tu pela la... Slices, peel, but skin. But in Spanish, tu pela, yeah, the but in Spanish. Uh, oh, man, I don't know what it is in we Spanish. Next, El we peel. We go next one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Bless Salud. you. <laughs> Wait, we're putting okay. some more time right. on the clock for the salute. Okay. The, 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 the salute goes off. All right. It's, I don't know, next one. Uh, just, Praying. Church. Yeah, but just. Uh, forgive I me. I did something. I did something fucked up. Sins. Okay. Oh, you said forgive. Okay, cool. Okay. That's great. Cool. No, I'm, I don't know that one. I know about those. Um, this one's good for your, um, it's a fruit. It's good for your uh, your bowel movement. Um, papayas. Yeah. Oh, look at you. Okay, yes. <laughs> Um, go to the next one. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, As you can tell, I have problems with Tuesdays. Okay, go ahead. There, uh, no. <laughs> no. Put it in, I just had it in tuna. I think we're out of time. Celery, <laughs> wait, can I just guess this last one? Celery bread with tuna? It's white. It's toast. No. 
It's white. Me. I don't know. Mayonesa. Mayonesa. <laughs> okay, that was so much fun. How many did we get? Like minus three? Yeah, like, yeah, like two, three. Yo, but I got that papaya yeah. first guess. I got that shit first guess. That was that connection right there. This is so great. Nelson, please drop your social media handles and let everybody out there in LOL land know how to follow you. Absolutely. You can catch me on IG, um, Nelson Estevez, N-E-L-S-O-N-E-S-T-E-V-E-Z. Twitter, same thing, uh, nelsonestevez.com. That's com. so great. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank of you course. for taking the time to come on the show. Thank you. This, this was fun. really special. <laughs> this is so great. And we are applauding you and cheering you on. Thank you. Thank Let's you. do this, Dominicans in the biz. Well, this was another episode of Loca in LA. No, it's called Latinos Out Loud, but Loca in LA edition. You can follow us at We Are Latinos Out Loud. You can give us a call at 978-LATINOS. You can follow me at Rachel La Loca. I'm not giving you my phone number. Maybe one of these episodes I will, but we, <laughs> you can call 978-LATINOS for now. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you to Me Too for sharing their home. Me siento en casa. Shout out to everybody behind the scenes. Shout out to Eddie. Shout out to Michelle Adana. Shout out to everybody here at Me Too who's really helped set this up. Thank and you. And on that note, we out. Peace. <laughs>